Hi, and welcome to Diabetes webinar on the future of tax work, how artificial intelligence is transforming the industry. My name is Boris Olanenka, and I'm a Digital Transfer Pricing Category Lead at IBM. By my background, I'm a tax and transfer pricing professional, but I'm also passionate about the technology. And that's why, when the news about the new AI technology started popping up a couple of years ago, I was curious and started getting deeper in this topic. And now, we are in the beginning of 2023, and new amazing tools like ChatGPT are going viral. That's why we decided that it is a good moment to reflect on AI and its role in tax profession. When I say we, I mean IBDA. We are a digital transfer pricing company headquartered in Helsinki, Finland, and our mission is to empower tax professionals with the ultimate perfect world transfer pricing technology. In today's webinar, we are going to be focusing specifically on the topic of natural language processing tools and their impact on our industry. On the left of your screen, you'll see the agenda and particular topic I'm discussing right now. We will start with the most intriguing question. Will AI replace tax advisors? We will then talk about what tax experts think about the state of the technology, run a few experiments and consider limitations of AI, as well as explore how tax professionals can use the technology already today. Also, don't forget to ask questions and comment during the webinar in the discussion section on the right of your screen. I'll be answering your questions there. So, let's start. For those who may not be familiar with the natural language processing, it is a branch of artificial intelligence that focuses on enabling computers to understand and process human language. And most of tax work that we do is focused on human language. Things like legislation, contracts, documentation and reports are usually in the form of written text. And that's why there is a potential for AI in our industry as well. One well-known example of a tool is GPT or Generative Pre-trained Transformer by the company called OpenAI. GPT and other NLP tools are revolutionizing the way tax professionals approach tasks like document analysis and tax compliance. By using machine learning algorithms to process and analyze large amounts of text data, those tools can help tax professionals save time and identify patterns and insights that may not be immediately apparent to the human eye. But NLP tools also present potential challenges for the tax profession. As with any technology, there are concerns about job displacement and the need for professionals to continuously upskill in order to stay relevant in the face of rapid technology change. In this webinar, we'll be discussing the benefits and challenges of NLP tools like GPT in the tax profession and exploring strategies for tax professionals to adapt and thrive in the age of AI. But let's start with addressing a question that's on many people's minds. Will AI replace tax professionals? Before we dive into that topic, it is important to understand that AI is a rapidly evolving field and it is difficult to predict exactly how it will impact various industries over the long term. However, based on what we know so far, it's unlikely that AI will completely replace tax professionals. And here is why. First, AI is not capable of replacing the human judgment and critical thinking that is central to the work of tax professionals. While AI can certainly assist with tasks like data analysis and compliance, it's unlikely to be able to fully replicate the complex decision-making and strategic thinking that tax professionals bring to the table. Second, the tax profession is heavily regulated, and it's likely that regulatory bodies will continue to require human oversight and decision-making in certain areas. We also cannot expect people to blindly trust AI with very important tax decisions, as it is a very sensitive topic for many. And finally, it is important to remember that AI is just a tool, and like any tool, it can be used to augment and enhance the work of humans rather than just replace them. Tax professionals who embrace AI and learn how to use it effectively will be well positioned to thrive in the future. So while AI is certainly changing the tax profession, it's not likely to replace tax professionals entirely. There is too much creativity and context in the tax profession that artificial intelligence will not be able to tackle. So we can relax 
and continue doing things in a way we already do, right? Well, maybe, but here's the funny fact. Those points that I just covered were suggested by ChatGPT. So maybe there is already something in it that we need to closely look into. But what do tax professionals think? I have conducted a LinkedIn survey in my network to see what people thought. The results were quite interesting. I have asked the question, will AI be able to provide reasonably accurate tax advice on par with junior tax professionals? And 10% of respondents believe that AI is already able to provide such advice. I'm afraid that's a bit over optimistic, but let's move on. 29% of respondents believe that AI will be able to do this within the next 5 years, and 21% believe that it will happen within the next 10 years, and 40% of respondents believe that it will take decades or will never happen. So, as you can see, there is a wide range of opinions on this topic, but on average, people are bullish on AI replacing junior tax personnel. So, what do you think about the role of AI in transfer pricing? Where will it be the most significant? You should see now the poll popping up in the webinar window. To better understand where we are already now, I decided to run a few experiments. I decided to test if ChatGPT is capable of solving real tax advice problems. ChatGPT is not a real product yet, but it is a research tool and it is available to everyone for free. To do so, I used several problems from the Advanced Diploma in International Taxation exam. This is a global standard qualification for tax professionals. In other words, if you pass the exam, you can call yourself a qualified international tax advisor. Broadly speaking, there are two types of questions in the edit exam. Theoretical where a student is asked to provide general explanations on particular topics or statements, and case studies, where you have to analyze a practical case and answer some questions based on particular facts and circumstances. Let's now see if ChatGPT can help solving those problems. First, I asked the theoretical question from the Principles of International Taxation exam paper, December 22. The question related to multilateral instrument and from my perspective, ChatGPT did a pretty good job in answering it. It was largely correct, and it highlighted pros and cons of MLI. There could be some corrections and improvements then, but I'd say it is a pass grade. Also, I picked the first answer, and probably I could get a better one if I played with clarifying questions more. If you watch this webinar recording afterwards, feel free to pause and read both question and the ChatGPT answer. Then. I asked a case study question from the transfer pricing module. This is a more practical problem and it requires different type of reasoning. Notice an interesting thing. The formatting of the text I provided is raw. So using those tools, you don't have to worry much about spaces and new lines, and that is very convenient. The case is about Charlie Corp, a market leader in its industry, which is looking to restructure its value chain in order to improve its tax position. The proposed changes include incorporating a new subsidiary, transferring ownership of intellectual pro property, and discontinuing manufacturing operations in the current country. However, there are potential transfer pricing risks that need to be addressed. There were two questions in this exam. First, to describe the changes in entity characterization, and second, to discuss potential transfer pricing risks and issues related to this business restructuring. And to be honest, I was positively surprised by this answer. While it clearly missed some risks and presented some issues with the wrong angle, for example, it said that services markup could be too high, which is kind of true, but the real issue would be that cost plus could be inappropriate here, it still did pretty good job in summarizing changes to entities' profiles and highlighting some of the relevant risks. We don't know if that's the best performance of ChatGPT or AI in general in the tax advice that we will ever see or with new models and products released, we will observe improvements. And one day AI will successfully pass this exam. The interesting thing is that you can now start training GPT on a large corpus of your data 
and potentially, if you feed it with modern tax convention commentaries, OECD guidelines, the United Nations manual, and previous papers of the exam, it can substantially improve the performance even with the current level of technology. I would also be thrilled to run a yearly tax advice Turing test where AI will try to pass the ADAT exam and human examiners will review and grade it without knowing it is AI. By the way, did you know that GPT is showing impressive results in the legal bar exam in the US? Here is a paper that describes the experiment. And of course, there are lots of limitations to current AI models that make it impossible to use it for real-life tax advice. They sometimes make up random facts, ignore certain things, miss or misinterpret nuances. Tax advice is a very sensitive topic, and humans won't feel comfortable relying on AI for their tax advice anytime soon. Moreover, I see the growing problem of fake expertise. In the future, how do you know if someone is really a good tax advisor or just knows how to use AI? However, this does not prevent us from using AI to augment and automate some tasks or substantially increase our personal efficiency. And that's where we come to our next topic. How to use ChatGPT and other AI tools in tax profession today? So, can we use ChatGPT and other similar tools in tax profession today? Here are just a few examples of how you can start using ChatGPT already today as a tax professional. And the first block of use cases is communication. One of the crucial activities that every tax or transfer pricing consultant does is communicating with clients. Let's take a simple example. We need to request information from a client to prepare a local file. And now let's ask ChatGPT to write us a polite email with information request. So I asked it to request financial statement, management, and organizational structure of the company in a polite way. And here's what I've got. The output was pretty impressive. It's indeed nice and polite. Though motivation for asking for certain information may be different and you will anyway need to adjust this email, it's already a great starting point. Moreover, you can iterate from here asking GPT to adjust this email. You can also save those prompts that give optimal results to use them in the future. The next use case is marketing and research. As a tax advisor, you often need to publish materials that will demonstrate your thought leadership and help your clients with valuable content, including your insights and observations. While it's unlikely ChatGPT will help you to come up with something unique and insightful, it can help you to present and frame your ideas in a more readable and easy-to-digest way. For example, I took a piece of description from the IBFD book about intangible assets that was written in a not-too-engaging way and asked to make it simpler and more engaging. If you're watching us later in the recording, feel free to pause and read the input and output. To summarize, ChatGPT simplified wording by eliminating complex structures and passive voice, and made the text more enjoyable. Obviously, there are areas where you may need to use more complex language, but this is just an example that you can extrapolate to your use cases. The next set of use cases is basic analysis. Here is a more specific transfer pricing example. Often, for benchmarking and comparability analysis purposes, we need to read and analyze legal agreements. Can ChatGPT do it for us? So let's try. Here I found a template of agency agreement in the internet and fed it to ChatGPT. I then asked to summarize this agreement. It did it pretty well. If you, for example, need to describe the legal agreement in the local file, this is already a good starting point. But let's make it more challenging. Let's ask what risks does agent have? When I first seen the result, I thought, wow, that's impressive. While not all of this is relevant for transfer pricing, you can definitely use some of those. Let's now try asking more specifically about the transfer pricing risks, framing the question as, what are the risks of the agent in this agreement that can be relevant for transfer pricing analysis? Now it's getting closer and closer. Things like reputational risk, financial risk, or legal risks are indeed something you can see in the real transfer pricing functional analysis. Again, I don't think you should be using this as is or relying on ChatGPT or other models like that too much yet, but there is definitely space to embed it in your process. 
And there are many more other use cases, such as drafting pieces of memos and transfer pricing documentation, doing research, automating other consulting activities. And I'd like to hear from you about other use cases that you identified in your daily job. Please share them in the discussion session of the webinar or in the comments below. I'm also interested and connected with like-minded tax professionals, so don't hesitate reaching out to me on LinkedIn. At Abidia, we have been experimenting with practical applications of AI in our solutions for some time, and we are planning the release of new AI-enabled features on our platform soon. So if you are interested in knowing more about our product and how AI will enhance it, feel free to reach out to us and we will organize a short demo. You will get a direct link to demo booking in this webinar room. Let's now conclude. Just to be clear, the technology is still not there and it will take some time for it to possess a threat for our jobs, if that would happen at all. However, what I think everyone should start doing is to try it, play it, play with it, give it different tasks and see how it performs. You will find some use cases that are relevant for you and this will make your job much more interesting and enjoyable. Also, by staying up to date, you won't miss the moment when the AI will knock on your door. But what do you think about it? Do you believe it will replace tax advisors anytime soon or this will never happen? What are other interesting use cases that you discovered where ChatGPT or other AI technology helped you with your job? Please share your thoughts and stay tuned. Thank you and bye for now.